Yeah, we on. Yeah, we on here, people. Come on in. Yes, the live. That's what we do. Let me get in it. Break it down. Yeah, come on in, everybody. You know it is. We still on. Of course, we ain't gone. Yeah. See who in the chat real quick. Yeah, what's good? What's good, LeBron? Back in there early. Yeah, yeah. Christopher H. What's happening? Yeah, LeBron. Hey, I'm good. Hey, I know you're back in the business, man. You know, no things back to normal. I ain't see you yesterday. I was worried, man. What's good? Hey, Dashiks. What's good, my friend? What they do? What they do? Coleman in the house. Jackson. What's happening? Yeah, JB, real early. Peach Nut, what's good? Fred. Yeah, Rocket Anderson, what's good, my friend? I see you in here. Yeah, yeah, everybody in here. Keat. Yeah, what they do, D? Hey, that's what's up, that's what's up. Hey, Michael, what's happening, what's happening? What they do, Miss Rita Kim in the house. Yeah, Raina Arms. Sanja B, what what they do? What they do, my friend? What's happening? Hello. Yeah, yeah, of course. We hear that shit already, already. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bullshit was good. Catch me out in the building. I see you, Maria. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Lily Gross. What's good, my friend? I see you in there. Jess Campbell. Jesse Campbell in the building. Yeah, I see you, Karen. What's good? Mr. Chris, I see you catch up. What's good, my friend? Lorenzo All. Yeah, yeah, we've been here, man. We've been here yesterday. <laughs> What's good, Eddings? What's happening, my friend? What's good? Yes, already in the place. Gates, what's happening? Yeah, we go get in it. Scorpion, what's good? Mark. <laughs> what's happening? Yeah, make it back in here. You know it go, Jackie, Jackie. Mimi Smith, my friend, what's happening? You know it goes. Bibby, what's good? What's good? Root, what they do? Odin's, what they do, my friend? What's happening? Yeah, what we gonna do? Hey, Lala, 42 in the building. I see you. Yeah, we are good, Sanjay. All right. You know already, 100. Yeah, we go get in it and everybody come in. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, you know, more people find the channel. Yeah, TLG on the track. What's good, my friend? Welcome, welcome, welcome. What they do? You good? Yeah, yeah. Already, we go get in it. We go get in it. Yeah, Margarita, what they do? Yes, of course, in the building early. That's how you do it. Yeah. yeah, 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 of course, of course. Yeah, Jackie, Jackie, Miss Flowers, what's good? Yeah, 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 of course, of course. Yeah, what's good, Denise? Yeah, yeah, I see that, I see that. <laughs> yeah, I see it's your first live. Welcome, my friend. Yes, of course, much respect. Yeah, I see you, root. Yeah, yeah, Steely in the building. What's happening? Yeah, you know we here. Ready to tow it down. Yeah, already, already. Yeah, shout out to everybody that find out the truth, man. You know it goes. Join this family here. June Newton, what's good? Hey, welcome, my friend. Already, already, you know. You already know. They can't keep us down. You know it goes. Hey, and if you see Buffin, just kill the screen and come back. You know they have to do that to us, man. They have to. Yeah, let me kill him and come back. Yeah. Okay, yeah, we back in. Yes, so everybody, man, Bob, I see you in the house. Yeah, yeah, CPT Crunch in the building. Yes, yes, I see, I see, I see. Already, already. Yeah, Anzu. Bootney, what's good, Bootney? Yeah, yeah, much respect every time. You already know. Yeah, yeah, I know you go find it. 
<laughs> yeah, it wasn't here yesterday, but hey. And so it goes. Yeah, Salty back in the building. What's good, my friend? What's happening? Yeah, Martha in the house. Yes, yes, sir. What's good, sir? Yeah, James Smith. You find it. Yes, that's how we do it. Yeah, yeah, no doubt, no doubt. <laughs> yeah, Miss Flowers. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, we go get in it. Just give me, let me see. We got a few minutes before we get in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Karen, what's good, Karen? Flat Earth, all in the house. Yeah, what they do, what they do? Yeah, yeah, we always go beyond. Plum G, what they do, Plum G? Yeah, 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 in the house. Yeah, of course they thought they was going to stop it. Queen, what they do, Queen? Franklin all in the house. What's really good? Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, much respect, baby, already. LVKY, I see you're back in. Yes, yes, well, yeah, we've been here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, Martha. Yeah. Yeah, we go get in it. Truth Seeker with Nova. What are they doing, Nova? What's happening with it? Anita Daly. Come on in. Dolly, what's good? Yeah, I see you. Brenda, what's happening, Brenda? <laughs> yeah, Alex in the building. Yeah, Andy is back. What's good, my friend? <laughs> you know it goes. Lion is love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We in for the long haul. Yeah, yeah. The, you know, all the people who think that we go there for the short term, hey, they in trouble. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, strike ain't gonna stop the mag. Down to earth. What's good? Yeah, matter of fact, we come back with more force. You know big? Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, yeah. They ain't gonna stop this. I'm gonna tell you. Yeah, you go believe it when you see they can't stop it. We keep going. Yes, that's how we do it. Yeah, Miss Rita Kim. Yes, hello. Yeah, yeah, all right. We go get in. Yeah, we got the people. Yeah, yeah. Now, this right here is an old case. Hey, and we dig this one up right here because, you know, a lot of people been asking for it. Couple of, for the last couple of months. Now this one, as you can see, the two kids sitting right here, the kids are Susan Smith, so-called. Now this story right here is a fake story, no doubt about it. All of those stories that you see on forensic files, they're all fake, 100% in, they're all fake, no doubt. And you see this one right here they brought to you back in the days, of course it was fake. Now we go get into this story right here so-called Susan Smith and find out what's really good. Let's get in it. I can't, I can't do anything but think about it. <laughs> For nine days, the nation searched in vain. Yeah, and I told you people, what you got to understand, this was a planned story right here. Yes, they killed two birds with one stone. Yes, there was about to divide and conquer at the same time, bringing you this fake news right here to traumatize your mind. No doubt about it. And as you can see, nine days worth of search, that tell you one thing. Yes, it's satanic. No doubt about it. PG and also your CC. Of course, they are satanic shit. Susan Smith has been arrested mm -hmm. and will be charged mm -hmm. with two counts of murder in connection with the deaths of her children. All of this shit that you hear them talking, the way they're saying it and everything, should I let you know 
that is just a damn show 100 percent and now you already know they have a million documentary on this one tv shows and movies it's never real it's just a masterpiece they put together of course they're not gonna forget it with two counts of murder in connection with the death of her children she slammed the door on him and let him roll deliberately premeditatively murdered michael and alex Wow, and he better know Michael is 33 in numerology. Yes, no doubt about it. Union, South Carolina. They call it the city of hospitality. A typical small town where neighbors know one another and life revolves around family and religion. <laughs> family and religion. <laughs> wow. <laughs> that means it's a good thing. Downtown, only five blocks long, is quiet on Sundays, except for the occasional passing train and the ringing of church bells. The nearby textile mills provide steady work for many Union residents. And 60 miles of highway and winding back roads isolate the town from the dangers of the nearest big city, Columbia. Around 3.30 p.m. on October... Damn. A right around 3.30 p.m. That means it's a 100% hoax. You have coincidence that happened, but not on the bit of truth. That's just how it is. No doubt about it. We don't take coincidence. Don't accept it one bit. It's all coded. Everything coded. Show you that it is fake. No doubt about it. Of course it is fake. Mm -hmm. Around 3.30 p.m. on October 25th, 1994, mm -hmm. Susan Vaughn Smith left the Conzo Products Company, mm -hmm. a fabric trim and tassel manufacturer, mm -hmm. where she worked as a secretary. Mm -hmm. She was upset. Her boyfriend, Tom Findlay, the son of the company owner, had recently ended their relationship. Okay, so there was in a relationship. He recently ended. Listen carefully, people. Can we go break it down? We go separate the fiction from real life. No doubt about it. So this one was with the Susan character. And she, he finally left her. Here we go. At the time, Susan was separated from her husband, David. Mm -hmm. And had been dating Finley for a few months. Mm -hmm. Okay, a few months. The late afternoon air was separated of only a few months, separated from the baby daddies in just a few months. Okay, and a few months ago, she started dating. There you go. This is a story. It's beginning to chill as mm -hmm. the 23-year-old Smith arrived at the daycare center. Wow, and it's also 23, right on the Freemason number. You believe it? Of course. All right, we go accept it. Coincident again. To pick up her two young children. Mm -hmm. Three-year-old Michael. Mm -hmm. and One of them is also three-year-old again. Wow. Teen-month-old Alex. Wow. Unable to get wow. three-year-old Michael and 14-month-old Alex. Wow. Unable to get thoughts of her boyfriend wow. out of her head, she stopped at a tavern on her way mm -hmm. home where she sat in the parking lot talking to a... Mm -hmm. Let's see what the hell is this. Wow. Look like another and from kid work, there. she then returned to the office with her kids, hoping to patch things up with Tom. Mm -hmm. Her efforts failed. Mm -hmm. At around 6 p.m., mm -hmm. Smith finds... Here you go again. Another number six. Don't doubt me, people. It's all satanic coded. There's no way it's real. It's just a fake shit they put together for the dumb people. That's how they traumatize the man. I arrived at her small house on the northern edge of town. Mm -hmm. After making the boys a dinner of pizza, mm -hmm. Susan called her friend at the tavern to see if Tom Finley was there. And if he had mentioned her name, mm -hmm. he was, but he had not. Wow. She called to see if dude mentioned her name, but she he didn't. Wow, this is garbage right here, people. Don't doubt me. The real definition of garbage. And yes, this is why they give you this right here. They record this one right here for the fucking psyop. That's what you need to know. So you can see the woman that so-called killed the kids and the kids together. All the he time. Was, that's how they do it. But he had not. Mm -hmm. 
Between 7.30 and 8 p.m., Smith strapped her two sons into their car seats in the back of her 1990 Mazda protege. She would later say she thought a drive through the countryside might help clear her head. That she stopped at Walmart to do some shopping. Damn, of course he gonna stop right there at Walmart. Because yes, Walmart is a government-owned shit. They are part of tricking the dumb people. That's what you better know. When you see something involved this Walmart right here, just remember I tell you it's a part of the damn psyop tricking down the dumb people right there. And then got back into the car, mm -hmm. intending to drive to a friend's house. Mm -hmm. But she never made it there. Mm -hmm. According to the story Smith would later tell. Mm -hmm. According to the story that she later tell, of course it's fake shit 100%. Stopped in. at a traffic light behind mm -hmm. the Monarch Mill textile plant. Two miles from quiet Main Street, mm -hmm. where a black man broke into her car with a gun in hand. Mm -hmm. He broke into the car? Hold on, hold on. Mm -hmm. Street, where a black man broke into her car with a gun in hand. Yeah. Broke into the car with a gun in hand. Broke into the car with a gun in hand. Now, we're talking about she at the light. Wow, this is a dumb way to put it. Driver, I'll kill you, Susan would later report mm -hmm. the man as saying. Mm -hmm. Panicked. Smith said she did as she was told. Drive or I kill you. Okay, all right. They drove east on Highway 49, she said, mm -hmm. away from downtown Union. The gun pressed against her ribs, the boys crying in the back seat. After about 10 minutes, they reached the access road to John D. Long Lake. Mm -hmm. Susan said the man abruptly told her to stop the car and get out, mm -hmm. then stuck the gun to her side. Smith said she pleaded frantically for her children, mm -hmm. but the black man pushed her out of the car and drove off with Michael and Alex. Mm -hmm. She ran to the nearest house, sobbing and crying for help. Mm -hmm. The family called 911. Mm -hmm. Did he have any weapons, gun, anything? He's got a gun. He's got a gun. Yes, ma'am. So who is that telling the story? He got a gun. That sounds like a man telling the story. No man wasn't there. He's got a gun. Yes, ma'am. Within minutes, Union Sheriff Howard Wells was on the scene. He immediately notified the FBI and the South Carolina Law Enforcement Division. Just in case you don't know, people, that's not how the fucking FBI work. You don't just call the FBI right away. That's not how it goes. First, the regular police gotta see all the case set up and everything. They just don't call the fucking FBI right away. No doubt about it. The FBI probably have to find that case and get involved in it. The police just don't call the FBI to take over their job. It's bullshit. 100%. You don't even know what happened yet? Of course, it's fake. Known as SLED, mm -hmm. a highly trained state police investigative mm -hmm. unit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They dispatched agents to Union to assist the sheriff in the search for the alleged carjacker. Mm -hmm. right, you yeah, well, I'm telling you, that's how you know the story is fake from the ground up. Yes, these police should have known that it was all bullshit come out of the mouth. Because I sit right here and hear the story. Of course, I know it's garbage. I would never believe it. The story never set up right from the jump. Why would the police jump in motion, call the FBI and start following what the woman say? Of course, it's all made up from the ground up. Bam! All of it. Soon after, the boy's father, David Smith, rushed to Susan's side. Mm -hmm. When I got there, she was Looks she like was hysterical. Mm -hmm. I had to literally pick her up off the floor mm -hmm. and take her into the other room mm -hmm. and sit, sit down with her on the couch. Mm -hmm. Later that night, mm -hmm. David called his father. Mm -hmm. I said, she ain't holding a bumper. I would have, you know, they wouldn't have drove off of my kids. Mm -hmm. You know, I was something when that car would have still been in my hand and he drove mm -hmm. off, you know. But there was never any doubt, mm -hmm. you know, in his mind that, that the, the kids were kidnapped. Susan, mm -hmm. as I've stated before, 100% mm -hmm. completely, mm -hmm. never, never, beyond, that I, that I didn't believe her beyond a shadow of a doubt, never. Mm -hmm. David, like most people mm -hmm. in Union. Look at all these cameras and all this shit right here, big old event, of course it was a fake shit to begin with, that's the only time you see these cameras, all a hundred cameras come out, you better wake your ass up for what? All fake shit. Believe That's the only Susan Smith's story. By the next morning, word of the kidnapping had spread rapidly. 
There you go. Many residents would dedicate countless hours to a mm. nine-day search. Nine-day search again. This is how they do it. It's bullshit. Michael and Alex Smith. Mm -hmm. A search that would end not in the safe return of the boys, mm -hmm. but in the exposure of a lie that would shock the nation. Mm -hmm. Yes. Only gonna shock the dumb people. They should have known. It's all fucking made up. All the way up. On the surface, there was little reason to doubt Susan Smith's story. Mm -hmm. By all accounts, she was a dutiful and loving mother. Mm -hmm. In high school, she had been a member of the National Honor Society mm -hmm. and was voted friendliest girl by her classmates. Mm -hmm. But as the search began for the two little boys, the image of their tearful mother pleading for their safe return turned into a sickening lie. Police would later learn that five days before the disappearance of her boys, Smith had said to a friend, I wonder what life would be like if I didn't have kids. Wow. Of course it was go say that. 100% to set up the dumb fake story on the map. Mm -hmm. From the moment Susan Smith reported her children missing, a nationwide search began for her car. In South Carolina, officials led by State Police Chief Robert Stewart began a parallel investigation, as is commonplace, in cases of child abduction. They questioned both Susan and David Smith. While following up on other leads about the supposed black carjacker. <laughs> wow, this is how they got the fucking sketch of the fucking person and they bought it. Wow, from the side. I guess he approached her from the side. With a fucking gun, stick her up and take the car. Of course, it's bullcrap. 100%. They should have known. It's garbage. One of the problems complicating the search was that the description Susan Smith had provided for the composite drawing of the carjacker was so generic, it raised suspicion. Mm -hmm. Of course, it had to be acted on mm -hmm. because you have children's lives at stake. Mm -hmm. But... Over a period of a couple of days, we had some real concerns with that and with the concerns if it was false that it would cause in the community. Mm -hmm. And we tried to be very mm -hmm. careful. Even the fucking FBI out, all these FBI out, of course, they would have known from day one it's fake. The whole fucking thing is planned, the whole thing. And I told you what they were doing already, killing two birds with one stone. That's how they do it. We right acted on that mm -hmm. in conducting interviews yeah, of subjects based on her description. Mm -hmm. A reporter with WIS-TV in Columbia, South Carolina, Heather Hoops, drove to Union to cover the story. Mm -hmm. Discussion go. started right away mm -hmm. about that composite and mm -hmm. how vague it was and how it described half mm -hmm. the people in Columbia mm -hmm. and should we use it and what should be done. Mm -hmm. the, the sketch described half the people in Columbia. Wow, it's bullshit people. 100%. And eventually we pulled it off the air. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the search for the carjacker and the little boys mm -hmm. went on. And the residents did their part. Mm -hmm. They assisted police by printing thousands of missing posters, distributing photos, tying yellow ribbons around mailboxes and All telephone poles and All scouting fucking. wooded areas on horseback. Mm -hmm. show. Local mm -hmm. and national media descended on Union and beaten yes. the story around the... Local and national media I already told you what it is. It was a fake event. 100% they put it all together for traumatizing of the dumb masses. That's just how they do it. You can't stop them from doing it. Before long, Susan appeared with her husband David mm -hmm. to make a tearful plea for the return of yeah, their... Yeah, because they're all actors. It's actors. No doubt about it. In real life, this don't happen. All actors right here. Can't you can't sleep. I can't eat. You can never cry either. You can't sleep. You can't eat. Can't cry. Can't, can't do anything sleep. but think there about it. Can't cry. Dry eyes, crying about two missing kids. Whether it, whether it, this one do it, are they saying that the black man took it? The whole fucking case is fake. That's what you need to know. <laughs> all fake. Yes, take a look at this one right here. That's the all of them. That's the same thing he would have do if the police would have said, yes, the fucking black man did take the kids. He would have been the same known tears. That's just how it is. The fake shit is just and right tell my love. Face. But doubts about Smith's sincerity grew mm. rapidly. Right. On the second day of the search, mm -hmm. she took a lie detector test mm -hmm. and failed. Mm -hmm. In 
an attempt to get a quick confession, police confronted Smith and accused her of being involved in the disappearance of Michael and Alex. She immediately became belligerent, cursed the agent, and that was the end of it. So we knew she was the kind of person that we would have to very easily work into a confession. You couldn't intimidate her into it. Nor could the authorities call off the search. Sheriff Wells, the FBI, and police kept on checking the hundreds of leads that came in every day. The FBI is searching for nobody out there. Nobody. That's not what the FBI work is. Their work is to fucking go around and question people, okay? Trying to find leads and so on. They're not going to out here walking around searching for nobody's bullshit. And David Smith stayed with their families at the home of Susan's mother and stepfather, Linda and Beverly Russell, waiting anxiously for news. It was very long days, very long days, waiting out at the Russells, watching people come in, watching people go. You're, you're like on a roller coaster, up and down, because there's so much hearsay. On the third day of the search, there seemed to be a breakthrough. A car matching the description of Susan's Mazda was spotted in North Carolina. But it was not her car. In vain, divers searched the waters of John D. Long Lake from the shoreline to 100 feet out. And the FBI searched Susan's house, but came up with nothing. After almost a week of silence, Susan and David Smith appeared before the television cameras once again. I want to say to my babies mm -hmm. <laughs> that your mama loves you so much and your daddy is so family. The TV people come out here for this show right here. They did it on purpose. They're all lined up there with the cameras so this one can lie to the people. That was all in the plan. That's what you need to know. They act like they sidestep by this one lying about what happened to the kids. Of course, it's bullshit. Nobody died. The kids never die. It's just a bullshit story they make up for TV. I always love right you so here. much. And you guys have got to be strong. Mm -hmm. I mean, because you are, we, 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 mm -hmm. I just know, mm -hmm. I just feel in my heart that you're okay. Mm -hmm. But you got to take care of each other. Never look up once, never look up once. Of course, if the FBI is smart, they wouldn't do no fucking investigation. They would have known that this one is a liar all the way in. So why they would have take that route? They already know that it's a fake shit. Your mom and dad are going to be right here waiting on you when you get home. As the daily interrogations of Susan proceeded, police discovered inconsistencies in her story. Mm -hmm. The greeters at Walmart didn't remember seeing her on the night of October 25th. Yes. The friend Susan claimed she was going to visit wasn't even home that evening. Mm -hmm. And there were more. She said there were no other cars in the intersection, no possible witnesses there, when in fact that light will only turn red for the direction she was traveling if there was cross traffic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. On day eight, Smith changed her written statement when police confronted her with new reasons why her version of the supposed abduction didn't add up. It was like a, an elaborate chess match. She'd make a move, we'd make a move, and, until it finally got resolved. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The national media was now increasingly skeptical. I would do live shots for stations around the country, and they were asking the question, well, hey, did they mm -hmm. think the mom did it? It was a question that was on a lot of people's minds. Yes, because that's how they planned it. They planned to put it out there. No doubt about it. They put it out there because they go turn it around and switch it to the mom. That's how they do it. 100% it was just a show. And it wouldn't be disinterested if they didn't pull the lie first. That they, this one right here said the car was, was, was taken by a black man with the two kids in it. Of course, it's more spicier when they give you the drama. Susan said things like... I loved them, I really did. Well, that's past tense. I mean, are they dead? Do you know something we don't? Mm -hmm. That's the same way I was breaking down that fake shit yesterday. That fake California shooting and the man was searching for his son. And he never find him, but he basically talk about him in the past tense. It's the same thing they're doing all fake shit. They never fail. 
That's Ninth day of the doing. search, Susan and David mm -hmm. appeared on all three national network morning news yes, programs. because that's what they do. They plan to bring these people right here to deceive the masses, touch your emotion. Yes, that's all they do. Declaring their innocence mm -hmm. and pleading for the return of Michael and Alex. My first mm -hmm. reaction is it, it hurts mm -hmm. to know that, um, mm -hmm. that I would be accused or even thought that I would ever do anything to harm my children. As a mother, it's only a natural instinct to protect your children mm -hmm. from any harm. And the hardest part of this whole ordeal... These people, they remind me of a fucking robot, okay? That's how they look to me. They're stiff as fuck, no emotion on the face, just stiff. And just words coming out. That's look like a damn robot. It's no doubt about not it. knowing if your children are getting what they need me? to survive. Look and, at the guy. Um, are you kidding me? It, wow. it, it hurt. It hurts real bad. Wow. Later that morning, Susan met with police behind a local church at a recreation center. Smith, worn down by day after day of intensive interrogations mm -hmm. and relentless media scrutiny, mm -hmm. finally broke down. It was in this small windowless room at about 2 p.m. on Thursday, November 3rd, that a tearful Susan Smith Wow. Of wow, November 3rd, there go your 11 threes, 30 threes on the money. She told Wells her children were not all right and fell to the floor sobbing. Mm -hmm. She said that the car and the children were at the bottom of John D. Long Lake. Mm -hmm. Divers found the car 122 feet from the shore, wow. upside down, mm -hmm. under 18 feet of water. How the fuck would the car be upside down? Yes, 18 feet for your number nine. There Through the go. murky darkness, the beam of a diver's flashlight Bullshit. illuminated a small hand Bullshit. pressed against the window. Of course, that's how they go touch your emotion, of course. Yes, you can see, even though the car flip over and everything, you can see a hand of the kid <laughs> press against the window. Yes, like he wanted to get out, of course. Bullshit right here. As the car was pulled from the water, the, the bodies of Michael and Alex were visible mm -hmm. through the side windows. Mm -hmm. Yes, there was visible. So this is a real photo of it. It's bullshit. 100% in. Show it. Back at the church, Susan Smith was allowed to prepare an unusual confession. Mm -hmm. They wanted to get something in writing, mm -hmm. but they didn't want to get into a situation with a confrontation to the mm -hmm. point where they could get nothing in writing. So that's why she was allowed to, mm -hmm. at that point, just write out her account of what happened. Mm -hmm. In her written confession, Susan Smith claimed that she was suicidal on the evening of October 25th, mm -hmm. that she was living in what she called a veil of tears, mm -hmm. not wanting her children to live without a mother. Smith said she was planning to kill herself and take her children with her. Mm -hmm. It's all bullshit. So why didn't just drive the car in the fucking ravine and you sit in there? It's bullshit right here. After no driving doubt. around Union for over an hour, she pulled into the access road at John D. Long Lake. She let her car roll down the boat ramp, but soon stopped it by pulling up the emergency brakes. Bullshit. Later, she got out of the car, released the brake, and let it roll down the ramp into the water. That evening, Sheriff Wells made the shocking announcement. Susan Smith has been arrested and will be charged with two counts of murder in connection with the deaths of her children, Michael, three, and Alexander, 14 months. I was heartbroken. Wow. Why did I not just say the kid is one year old? What the fuck is it, 14 months? All fucking called it. Don't doubt when I tell you. There you go. It was Bullshit. it was a mm -hmm. a sickening feeling that I've never felt mm -hmm. experienced in my life before. Mm -hmm. I felt empty. I felt hollow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've been empty, no doubt about it. All they give you is these fake characters trying to pass off fake shit as real. Mm -hmm. There you go. I felt betrayed. Mm -hmm. Later that night, as the car was removed from the lake. Mm -hmm. The bodies of her two children remained in their car seats, mm -hmm. grossly deformed from being underwater for mm -hmm. ten days. So the car didn't run off a cliff. The car just, 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 
she just re let the emergency brake go and let the car just run in and the car all the way down to 122 feet down i don't believe this right here it's bullshit 100 percent. there's no way you could get a car like that to get so the ravine have no guard no nothing it just slide all the way in and go all the way to the bottom it's bullshit it's not real there you go South Carolina decided to pursue the death penalty against mm, Susan Smith. Bullshit. Her defense attorney would say that execution made no sense mm. since Susan wanted to die. The worst punishment she, she could face. Oh, the fuck you're going to know what she wanted. She wanted to die. Get the fuck out of there. No indication that she wanted to die. It's not like she run off the damn car and she was in it. She never was in it, so it's bullshit. Having to live with what she had done. Mm -hmm. Back in a moment. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. The nation was stunned by the deaths of Michael mm -hmm. and Alex Smith. Even more shocking was that the confessed murderer was also their mother. Mm -hmm. Crime statistics indicate that more than 1,000 children in the U.S. are killed each year mm -hmm. by their parents. Yeah. Over 1,000 kids killed each year by their parents. Of course, it's bullshit. Mm -hmm. Susan Smith having waived her right to a bond hearing, sat in jail as thousands of people streamed into the funeral home mm -hmm. for the closed casket visitation of her children. Yes, of course, closed casket, nobody in it, no doubt about it, as you could see them faking it on the masses, nobody in the damn casket, okay? What's wrong with them, why they have to be closed casket? Faking right here, there you go. On Sunday, November 6th, 1994, mm -hmm. Michael and Alex were buried two small bodies placed in the same casket mm -hmm. yes they bury both of them in the same casket wow of course it's bullshit there you go it was, uh, fucking fakers right here of course they can't cry fakery right here this it was heart-wrenching I mean, they can never cry that was a tough one mm -hmm. i mean i don't think there was a dry eye mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. um it was seven miles from the mm -hmm. church to the funeral, and mm -hmm. I, by the time seven we got miles. to the burial site, the cars were still coming out of the church. Mm -hmm. It was the hardest thing I ever had to go through. Mm -hmm. With the arrest of Susan Smith, the town of Union began to mourn as quickly as it had rallied to Susan's side. Mm -hmm. The yellow ribbons that had been tied to trees and lampposts were replaced with blue and white ones as a remembrance of the boys. Mm -hmm. The boat ramp at John D. Long Lake was transformed into a shrine for Michael and Alex. Mm -hmm. All of this right here, people, all this commotion, all of this shit that you see them doing, it's be hard because it's fake. Okay, if it was real, they wouldn't be doing all this shit. That's just how it is. 100%. There you go. This is how you get the fake shit out here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Overnight, the love for Susan Smith mm -hmm. turned to hatred. You need to cry! Of course, it's bullshit. They were ready to lynch her. I think the whole country mm -hmm. was. Bullshit. Um. They didn't have any answers for what she did. Mm -hmm. They couldn't understand how she would do something like this to their family member, and, and they wanted her hide. Many in the town of Union felt betrayed by Susan Smith, especially members of the African-American community. Since Smith had chosen to falsely blame a black man for the crime. Mm -hmm. On December 12th, Susan was indicted on two charges of murder. On January 16th, the Union County solicitor, Tommy Pope, who would prosecute the Smith case, announced his decision to seek the death penalty. State of South Carolina hereby serves you with notice that the state intends to seek the death penalty in the above cats of the case. State versus Susan Smith died for murder. Alleged that Susan Smith did in Union County on or about October 25th, 1994, feloniously, willfully, and with malice of forethought, kill one Alexander Tyler Smith by means of drowning and said victim died as a result thereof. State of South Carolina versus Susan Smith, indicted for murder, and indicted for slavery. Not even a lick of tears can never cry. It's fake shit. Susan Smith did in Union County on about October 25th, 1994, feloniously, willfully, and with malice and forethought, 
killed when Michael Daniel Smith, by means of drowning, said Vic would die as a result thereof. Smith was appointed a public defender named Judy Clark. So wow, there go your Judy Clark right there. Wow, there you go. From back in the days, this Judy Clark in the fucking TV. <laughs> wow, fooling the dumb people. Just a damn actor. Jackson's mother and stepfather mortgaged wow. their house to hire a second defense attorney with experience in death penalty cases, David Bruck. The, the death penalty is for her uh, beside the point. Of course, they're not going to have no damn death penalty. It's a fake case they put together to traumatize the masses. Of course. She says over and over again that she wishes she could just die yes, it's so that she wouldn't have to hurt anymore. Yes, it's bullshit. Judge William Howard, who would preside over the case, set the ground rules and a number of... The judge, of course, the judge will get famous off this case. There he is, strolling through like a movie star. It's a fucking show. Retrial hearings. Mm -hmm. He started by imposing a gag order on everyone involved in the case. Ruling that cameras would be banned from the courtroom. Yes, of course, it's bullshit. At the same time, the Simpson case was being tried and had started several months earlier. Look, the Simpson trial right there. That's how they do it, people. This one of all the drama. So they take that one off. That two fake thing. Don't get it fucked up. Both of them is fake. They take off the Susan one. They're done with it. Agenda already passed. Now it's the OJ time. Here you go, all actors in the OJ case, all fakery, but they divide and conquer the man. So we had the benefit of seeing what was going on mm -hmm. out there. Mm -hmm. I felt every time I came into the courtroom that the right here. It was seeing what show. was going on. OJ walking out, cameras everywhere, just a fucking show, and the people slept on it. Why they couldn't see, it was a fucking house. Out there. Just a I show. felt every time Here I came go. into Post the courtroom that the level of anxiety wow. mm -hmm. um, that I saw was mm -hmm. uh, greater than I had uh, seen before. Mm -hmm. And that it was affecting the way people were, were addressing the issues, mm -hmm. the time that was yes. involved. Mm -hmm. The media standing. coverage had been so are. intense. What, what's this about right here? It's nothing but bullshit, okay? All the way, God. Many believed it would be impossible to find a fair and impartial jury in union. Under the law, defense attorney David Bruck could have requested a change of venue, but he decided that a local jury would most likely work to Smith's favor. The prosecution's image of her was of a, a, a non-human, a, non a Beelzebub-like character, just unimaginable coldness and evil. Um, and I thought it would be easier to sell that to a jury of strangers uh, somewhere across the state mm -hmm. than to a jury in you. Mm -hmm. You would be asked to believe that this diabolical figure had grown up in their midst for 23 years and no one had noticed. Mm -hmm. Jury selection began on Monday, July 10th. Mm -hmm. By Saturday, nine men and three women had been chosen. Four jurors were black and eight white. Judge Howard sequestered them in a nearby hotel. Mm -hmm. He had set the stage for speedy and efficient justice. In comparison to the O.J. Simpson criminal trial, which took nine months to reach a verdict, mm -hmm. the fate of Susan Smith would be known in only for speedy and efficient justice. In comparison to the O.J. Simpson criminal trial, See which... Why are they comparing this one to the O.J. Simpson trial, okay? OJ Simpson trial take nine months because it is a TV drama for TV. This one right here, pass our agenda. That's how they do it. Took nine months to reach a verdict. Mm -hmm. The fate of Susan Smith would be known in only 17 days. Mm -hmm. 17 days. With a guilty verdict. Known drama, just 17 days. Get it out of Told by the inevitable, OJ the real Casey question drama. in the courtroom was whether Susan Smith would face the death penalty. Mm -hmm. Next, the defense. Mm -hmm. With a clever move, takes control of the trial. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That giving the masses. Come on with it. Mm -hmm. The trial of Susan Smith began on July 17th, 1995. It might have been a simple one, but the prosecution made what some believe was a... Always showing this one, pulling up, open a car, the one come out. Where the fuck it coming from? This supposed to be a criminal... 
that locked up in prison waiting to get sentenced. What the fuck is this? This is bullshit right here. Let's back it up. Look where it come from. It might have been a simple one, but wow. the prosecution made Just what some believe. Everything. Are you kidding me? Of course it's not real. So you think they bet this one get bail? Of course it don't have no bail. How the fuck you woulda just killed somebody? Kill your two kids? Get bail coming off the street, coming out of car dressed up? Bullshit right here. major blunder. There you go. Mm -hmm. oh, no, they decided shit. to try and show it. why the defendant killed her two sons, just even though the shit. law did not require that they prove a motive, mm -hmm. and they could have won without doing so. Each day, the Look Union Courthouse was... Right here, people. Look at this right here. Told you already, only government operation. Yes, they can line up right here. No doubt about it. Police would have let them Packed. scramble. Many more waited outside for a chance to get inside. Number six right here. Not much of a mother. Whatever they do to her can't be enough. Anybody that could drown her babies. Any mother could drown her babies. They've no, nothing to her. Those who did get inside wouldn't hear Susan Smith speak. State psychiatrists had testified that although Smith was competent to stand trial, she was suicidal and might sabotage her own defense. It's just a fucking main TV show right here they give the masses. And just like you see your Andrea Yakes, so-called drawn of five kids, same fucking agenda they bring to the people. Just remember. Under South Carolina law, death penalty trials are divided into two parts. Mm -hmm. The first determines guilt or innocence. The second decides the punishment. Mm -hmm. The guilt phase of the Smith trial was essentially an open and shut case yeah, for the prosecution. Okay. Mm -hmm. In a written confession, mm -hmm. Smith had admitted... They go the car right there. Wow, they're playing the masses as full. They go the car, of course they have it. She had let her car go. roll into the lake mm -hmm. with her children strapped in the back seat. Mm -hmm. There was little chance that Susan Smith would be found anything but guilty. Mm -hmm. We didn't feel that there was any defense to the murder charge at all. So the best thing and the worst thing were the same thing, as we felt mm -hmm. like there was going to be a murder conviction. I wonder how they get out the damn seat if they were strapped down in damn strap in the seat. How the hell they get up to the, to get their hands on the glass when they said they find the car? Of course, it don't put together. Got holes in it. Fake shit. The fact that within minutes of this crime she was telling a lie mm -hmm. about what had happened to her children made it quite clear that she knew that it was wrong to have killed her children, and that, uh, or at least that she would get in trouble for it. Uh, and that's the end of any insanity defense. Mm -hmm. But the state wasn't taking any chances. Mm -hmm. The defendant had extremely capable attorneys. They would test and they would push <laughs> against our case. How fake this shit is. The same way they give you the OJ case, it's nothing but fakery. The camera for basically go in front of them, stand up in front of the court to get these shots right here. Why would the judge allow this? You can't have cameraman moving around like it's a damn movie. You can set up the cameras, but you can't be moving around. There you go. And if they met so with the resistance, face this one. they'd say, well, we're not contesting that. It's a movie. But if it was soft... I can guarantee you mm -hmm. they would continue to push right through it. And mm -hmm. so part of our job that a lot of people mm -hmm. never realized mm -hmm. um, was making sure that every I was dotted and every T was crossed on each and every step. Mm -hmm. As part of their thorough approach, prosecutors began the case with a motive. They argued that Susan Smith murdered her children mm -hmm. in order to win back her wealthy boyfriend, Tom Finley, who was known throughout Union as the most eligible bachelor lived in his family's mansion, worked for his father's company, and was Susan Smith's ticket to the good life. Much of the prosecution's case revolved around a letter that Findlay had sent to Smith a week before the murders. Wow, so there you go. So she, the, the, the boyfriend Soka sent a letter to break up with her. That's why she killed the kids. <laughs> wow, it's bullshit. Why would you be with somebody who have the kids? Then you go say you don't want no kids so she could kill him. It's bullshit. And then after you kill the kids, you think the man gonna be with you? Of course it's gonna be. In the letter, he outlined the reasons why he was ending their brief relationship. Uh, One of them yeah. was her children. There you go. Findlay wrote, there are some things about you that aren't suited for me. Mm -hmm. And yes, I am speaking about your children. Mm -hmm. I'm First sure of all, they're just two months in dating. Just like two months in dating. 
Wow, of course it's bull crap. The story don't make matter. Your kids are good kids, okay. but it really wouldn't matter how good they may be. The fact is, I just don't want children. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. When you've got a letter that says, you know, we could be together, but I'm not ready to have kids. I mean, you know, it, it, it's pretty clear cut as, as I see it. Under South Carolina law, the prosecution did not need to prove a motive to win a conviction in the murder case. They only had to prove it was premeditated by a mere second. Smith had conceded that in her own confession when she wrote, I did go part way. Right here, people, just a damn character they have on the masses. Just remember that shit post up on the masses. It's a fake story all the way. And in her own confession when she wrote, I did go part way down the ramp, but I stopped. I went again and stopped. Then I got out of the car. I dropped to the lowest when I allowed my children to go down that ramp into the water without me. Really, the state was going to get a murder conviction just for showing up. She had confessed to capital murder. We knew. purple right there, Freemasonry. Um, that the um, confession was not going to be thrown out. Um, however, the state made the decision to try to prove motive at the guilt phase. We expected them to do it. We thought it was a mistake, but we thought it was a mistake they were going to make, and they did. Mm -hmm. A mistake. All of these shots coming out now because the camera coming out of the courtroom. Now you get these live shots. There you go right there. One eye symbol from this fake arrival. According to Bruck, because it opened the door for the defense to present its own counter-argument about Smith's motive. Mm -hmm. That she was not a cold, evil killer, mm -hmm. but a loving, immature, and troubled mm -hmm. mother who could not mm -hmm. cope with life. Mm -hmm. That the deaths of Michael and Alex were actually a result of Smith's botched attempt to commit suicide. Mm -hmm. An argument for which there was some evidence in Susan's past, mm -hmm. according to the spokesman for the hospital mm -hmm. that evaluated Smith's mental mm -hmm. fit. Zooming on the damn spokesman in the courtroom, of course, his bulk To stand trial. Susan had been suicidal in high school yes. to the point that mm -hmm. she was briefly hospitalized in a psychiatric mm -hmm. oh, unit. Mm -hmm. Her father had committed suicide, and we know that wow. individual... Her father committed suicide. Wow. This is how they set up the story. Nice for the dumb people to believe whose it. Whose parent committed suicide, they're higher risk mm -hmm. for suicide. Yes, These facts are yes, brought... now it's genetic. Suicidal is genetic. Wow. Get the fuck out of here. Uh, in mm -hmm. the trial. Also, she had depression. It's mm -hmm. plausible that she was yes. very depressed mm -hmm. that mm -hmm. evening. Like I don't tell you the same thing they said about Andrea Yates. Yes, they point that Anne right there on the same fucking shit. Yes, mental health. That's all they do. She had been trying to get Tom's attention. He had been turning her off. This was very important uh, to her. Now that the door had been opened by the state, the defense walked right through it, presenting evidence of depression and alcoholism in Susan's family tree. The impact of her father's suicide when Susan was only six years old. Wow, another number six again when she was six. Her dad committed suicide. Wow, what a bullshit. And most shocking, the admission of sexual abuse by Susan's stepfather, wow. Beverly Russell. Now his sexual abuse. Wow. The same thing you get from the Casey Anthony case. It's the same fucking shit. So-called killer daughter. Yes, and start complaining about sexual harassment for the fucking drama to continue. Head of Union County's Christian mm -hmm. Coalition and chairman mm -hmm. of its Republican mm -hmm. Party. Yes, there you His go. abuse had begun when Susan was 15. Mm -hmm. 15 for your number what? Number six again. This recent incident was three months before mm -hmm. the drowning. There you go your number three. The three, here they go, people, they're bringing it out for you. Mm -hmm. The most recent incident was three months before the drowning of Michael and Alex. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We had the opportunity to show that on the available evidence, suicide was a much more likely motivating factor mm -hmm. than mm -hmm. a premeditated, cold, wow. deliberate substitution of her children mm -hmm. in favor of this remote chance of snaring a rich boyfriend. Mm -hmm. So it brought out mm -hmm. sort of the good with the bad. It toned it down mm -hmm. and made it into a much more complex mm -hmm. emotional case 
right from the start mm -hmm. instead of allowing the state to portray it in a very stark mm -hmm. evil all you go see do is wiping the eyes no tears in a very yes. stark call it the one eye symbol mocking of the damn people because you can never cry that's what you need to know Fake evil right way yeah. and then evil. have the defense no try to of reconstruct it Nobody in crying, uh, a shit. different setting there you go the defense mm -hmm. took control of the case mm -hmm. with the state's first witness and never let go of it from that point on. Mm -hmm. There you go. So now all you go get out of it is this right here. What is this cartoon case? We already know one thing. You get the boat with the cartoon. Because the defense was arguing that Susan's abusive past mm -hmm. made her suicidal mm -hmm. but did not make her mentally ill, the prosecution was not allowed to have its own psychiatrists examine her. Nothing but bullshit they're giving the people. That's one thing that makes those abuse defense is extremely difficult, mm -hmm. at least under mm -hmm. the structure of our law in, in South Carolina, is the lack of an opportunity for the state. You know, you're basically using the defense of something unusual in the defendant's mind, but then you don't give us a chance to peer into their mind. Mm -hmm. It's almost like you putting up a witness and getting to get direct examination, but not allowing me to cross-examine The defense psychiatrist did say Susan right. intended right. to kill herself and, quote, take mm -hmm. her children with her. There you go. There you go. Now you get the drawings out of there. You know what time it is. Yes, there you go. It's a fake shit. 100% in. A point which the prosecutors mm -hmm. really jumped on, saying, mm -hmm. well, she didn't commit suicide, mm -hmm. and um, you can't suicide a child. Now, mm -hmm. it's plausible that someone could decide to commit suicide and take their children with them. This has occurred in other instances. Mm -hmm. However... Her method here of committing, quote, suicide is very unusual. Mm -hmm. There are so many opportunities mm -hmm. to get out. Now, her kids are strapped into the car seats. Bullshit. I mean, whatever's mm -hmm. going to happen is going to certainly happen for them unless she rescues them. Mm -hmm. The defense psychiatrist conceded something else case. about Susan Smith wow. that for some members of the jury mm -hmm. proved... If you even look at the judge and even holding the three sixes on the cartoon photo... They're not, they're not hiding it, people. They're smart or they're dumb. They just take you for the dummy. Take a look at that right there. This is how they do it. It's bad enough they give you a cartoon case. Yes, but they go give you the, the judge holding the three sixes on the hand. Her oh, guilt wow. beyond any doubt. There you go. Mm -hmm. His testimony go your led me to believe. There go your jewelry. Ah, in cartoons. There you go. Yes, yeah, she, she mm -hmm. is guilty. Mm -hmm. He said that she understood right from wrong mm -hmm. the way she mm -hmm. uh, made decisions mm -hmm. script, was not mm -hmm. rational mm -hmm. but she understood that it was wrong what she mm -hmm. did mm -hmm. so she should be held accountable for what she did mm -hmm. after a week of testimony it took the jury only two and a half hours to come back with a verdict guilty of two counts of murder a verdict that didn't surprise anyone but the defense had won a victory as well. Mm -hmm. It had presented evidence about... I never wear a cuff. I don't know why the hand's holding in the front of it because there's no cuff on this person. No doubt about it. Walking away. That might go. sway the jury against the punishment the prosecution was so eager to achieve. The yeah. death penalty. Free person. Nothing wrong. Just a free, free To that person. end, the state would produce an mm -hmm. unusual videotape that showed just how Susan Smith had drowned her two sons. Wow. The prosecutors wanted to prove to the jury that Smith had almost six minutes in which she still... Six minutes, there go your coding again. They never leave him out. ...could have saved them. Mm -hmm. Back in a moment. Plus, at AETV... Mm -hmm. ...the phase of the Susan Smith trial began with graphic and emotional testimony from both sides. The prosecution in its bid for the death penalty would visually recreate the deaths of Michael and Alex Smith. And the defense, in an effort to keep Susan Smith off death row, would use her friends and family to explore the most painful events of her life. The defense also had another argument against executing Smith. 
I think it was clear that uh, that life would be a more severe punishment mm -hmm. for her because she loved those children. It sounds strange to say, but she did. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and the full horror of what she had done weighed on mm -hmm. her. They want you to take a side. That's all it is. Of course, they go give you yes a reason to take the person that killed the, the, the two kids side. Of course, that's how they divide down the masses. Yes, give you a reason to to take that one side. Give you a reason to feel bad about the kids dying. That's how they split you up. Right More here. heavily than on anybody else. Go. And it was obvious that I was going to stay mm -hmm. with her for the rest of her life. Uh, the longer her life, mm -hmm. the more she was going to person coming from jail. And so the idea of the death penalty as retribution didn't really mm -hmm. ring true for Susan. Mm -hmm. But the prosecution was about to present a very compelling piece of evidence, mm -hmm. hoping to sway the jury in its favor. In the months before the trial, Tommy Pope had prepared a video showing what would happen if a car like Susan's was allowed to roll down the boat ramp and sink in John D. Long Lake. Recreation was videotaped from the shore while another camera was mounted in the car, roughly where Michael and Alex were sitting. Wow. You got in your mind, well, it'll, it'll occur this way. That car would never go in the bottom of the water, never. You see where it's at? They full of shit. They could never react not this right here and say the car was found 122 feet down. No way. This is fake shit. Carl drop like a rock or it'll the float forever. You know, right all here. the different things. And of course, how come nobody never see the car post up right there? It's fake. I believe the byproduct of the test, in addition to telling us some things mm -hmm. about flotation characteristics, it gave us an internal okay, view of how mm -hmm. that car filled mm -hmm. up with Tommy water. Pope. It basically yeah, gave us a view of what. Michael and Alex would have been facing as, as the means of their death. Bullshit. Yes. He How long it take to the car to go down in there is bullshit. 100%. Objected oh. to the video mm -hmm. and requested that Judge Howard not let the jury see it. They claimed that the daylight and the divers floating in the water next to the car gave a false sense of rescue that Susan Smith, alone in the dark, would not have had. But the judge allowed it. In the overall sense, what you're uh, evaluating is relevance, whether or not something is, is relevant. Mm -hmm. When I looked at it, mm -hmm. what was apparent was that within the car, mm -hmm. the water coming up was much more slowly rising mm -hmm. than it appeared from the exterior of the vehicle. Look at the car, people. Look how the car would have to be before it go in the water. Why they do this? It's fakery. They're showing you in plain sight that there's no way it could have happened like they say it is. It's fake shit. Again, relevant now on the issue of just what could mm -hmm. have been done there to save go. the children and there how you. long um, was the time frame mm -hmm. in which something could have been done. And so it was at that point that I thought mm -hmm. it really was relevant in that mm -hmm. sentencing setting. The jury sat and watched as it took the water almost six minutes. Mm -hmm. to See, right on the money again. Six minutes the car take to go down in there. Nobody see it happen. Wow. The level of the car's interior camera. Mm -hmm. That was kind of emotional for me. I didn't, mm -hmm. didn't realize it would take a car that long to sink. Mm -hmm. See? It was yeah, five minutes, course. 52 seconds, mm -hmm. something like that. Okay. And they took all the sound away. It made it even more eerie. They took all the sound away in the courtroom. You mm -hmm. just sitting there watching that car float out in the water. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was really, it was really emotional. Mm -hmm. David and I watched the reenactment. It was not shown to the court. We could sit and we watched it in the reflection of the windows because they had the, the blinds were drawn behind the mm -hmm. jury, Nothing and we could sit there and watch it. Was very hard. It was, it was heart wrenching to watch that car. It's Bob Bullshit. and Bob and the, mm -hmm. the front drop down watch the car because we just knew you know you could visualize michael and alex sitting there upside down strapped in nothing they could do it's bullshit. Mm -hmm. perhaps equally hard to watch was the testimony of the boy's father david smith yes i guess it's hard to watch that's why you bring it in cartoon for the dumb people to suffer who described the monumental loss he had suffered when his children were murdered by his estranged wife Basically, what we did was bring Michael and Alex back to life through death. Yes, bring him back to life because they wasn't dead. Of course, they wasn't dead. And I know already people, they can never say they go give it the death penalty. They're fucking with the masses with this dumb story right here. Two made-up babies they put right there on the masses. Of course, it's not real. 
Let's get back in the chat a little bit. Yeah, I'm kind of running out of juice. Yeah, how everybody doing? Yeah, what's up, Mendez? See you make it in. Yeah, too smooth. What's going on? What's happening? Yeah, Jennifer Lanny. What they do, Jennifer? Jennifer Lanny. Yeah, yeah, what's good? Yeah, Arneen. What they do, my friend? Yeah, yeah, much respect every time. You already know. Yeah, yeah, Sepia, what they do? What's happening? Govi, what's happening? You in there? Yeah, 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 for sure, for sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, what's good, flowers of the future? What's happening? Yeah, what's good, what's good? Yeah, Big Kush, what's happening, Big Kush? What they do, what they do? Yeah, that's what's up. Moab. What's happening, Moab? What they do, what they do, what they do? Yeah, Randy. From Joanna with love. I see you in here. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I know you're going to find it. That's up. Yeah, yeah. Shah G. What's good? I see you in the building. Ricky Lee G. What's good, my friend? Hello, hello. Maxwell Smart in the house. Yeah, that's how they do it. Future Head. What are you doing, my friend? What's happening? Flat from the start. What's good? JB in the house. Yeah, yeah, of course. Southern girl in the house. What's happening, my friend? Yeah, that's how it is. Mark, what's happening? Yeah, how you doing? How you doing? <laughs> Katina Anderson, what's good, my friend? How you doing? How you doing? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm 100. How are you? Yeah, hoping you're doing good. Yeah, less are. What they do, my friend? What's happening? Yeah, Gates in the house. Yeah, I already see you. What's happening? <laughs> That's right, sir. What's happening? Yeah, yeah, we always on. You know that? Already, already. Shelly on a let. What's good? What are you doing? What are you doing? Pink in the building. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yeah, of course. Appreciate you, June Newton. Every time. Yeah, no doubt. What's good, Queen? Yeah, Andy. Chris Johnson, what's good? What's happening? What's happening? What's happening? See you in the building, Tiggy Tay. Yes, no doubt. No doubt. Yeah, that's all they do it, Bootney. We already know what they do. <laughs> Lynette, how you doing, my friend? Yes, I know already. Hey, I'm I'm glad to be here. You already know. Yeah, yeah, believe it or not, that's what it is. Yes, yes. Already, already. <laughs> yeah, happy side, Ricky. You already know. Yeah, yeah. Maylands Allen, what they do, my friend? What's happening? What's happening? What are you doing? Glad to see you back in here. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, see you. I see you. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, of course, of course, no doubt. You appreciate it, no doubt. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, glad you're back. Of course, and as you already know, we do it. <laughs> already, already. Hey, 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 no letdowns, you know what I'm saying? Already, already, my friend, stay up. Yeah, I need a daily in the house. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Yeah, what's good, Blunt? In the house. Yeah, you know we keep it going. Yeah, yeah, never stop. Lion is love. Hey, hey, how you doing? How you doing? See you in here. Jackie, Jackie. What's really good with you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, glad to see all of y'all back in here, no doubt. Yeah, dog for life. What's good? What's good? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know we do it. Yeah, they can't stop us, no doubt. Yeah, yeah, line. What they do, line off. What they do, line. See you in here. Make it in here also. Of course, of course. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Joy Jade. What's good? What's good? 
<laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Of course, of course. I was wondering if you would go find me, Ricky. You and Ijobat. I was like, okay. I know y'all know that the channel was down, but I didn't know if you would know it was up, you know, back up. Yeah, it was kind of quick, but hey, you know, we do it. Yeah, yeah, of course, Lala42. Yeah, yeah, appreciate every time. Yeah, we never go stop. That's how we do it. Yeah, yeah, and it always feels good to be away, Jennifer Lenny. Of course, of course. <laughs> yes. I like that already, already. Yeah, Maryland's Allen, my friend. Yeah, much respect. Glad you're back on. Jennifer Sweet, what's good? <laughs> hey, 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 hey. If you say so, I believe you. <laughs> yeah, Cassie Robinson, my friend, what's good? Yeah, that's what's up. Moab. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm good. I'm good, Jennifer Lenny, of course. Yeah, I'm nice. You already know. Once I touch down, hey. Hey, I'm in full effect. <laughs> yeah, no doubt. Yeah, once you see me, I'm on. Yeah, catch me out. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course. I appreciate you every time, Anderson. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Katina Anderson, that's you. Already, already. I see you. Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Every time, flowers of the future. Yeah, that's what's it. Hey, Aaron, what's good, Aaron? What's really good? <laughs> yeah, Sanja B. Hey, hey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, you got some? <laughs> oh okay okay hey i wish i could have get some too hey <laughs> yeah that sound good right about now lisa lisa what's happening my friend what are you doing hey you know we cool already already yeah yeah trying to get everybody in hey barry smith what's happening what they do i already know i already know Everybody come to, I already know, man. Yeah, you're quick on it. Yeah, Pensilona Dembo, my friend, already. Keep it up. You know it's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, Pucha, I had much respect. <laughs> yeah, yeah, okay, okay, well, shit. You know it goes beyond every day. So if you can catch it only on the weekend, hey, that's cool too. Yeah, but we be on. Yeah, you already know that. Too smooth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, of course, of course, Chris. That's how it is. We never stop growing now. Yeah, we have YouTube that, that breaking us down. But hey, you know it goes. We never stop growing. That's how it is. Yeah, of course, Denise. <laughs> yeah, of course. That's how you do it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Cancel our cable. <laughs> That's how you do it, of course. Yeah, of course. You don't need that. Yeah, I stopped paying cable a long time ago. You don't need no cable. Of course not. Yeah, they can keep that. Yeah, yeah, of course, of course. Respect everybody that come to you already know. Yeah, you know we in here every day, so hey. You know, catch up. Tomorrow we'll be on a little bit earlier. Yeah, but, but look out, man. Even if you don't see the notification, you know, you can at least check if you see me on. You know already. Yeah. That's how you do it, you know, because we already know what they're doing. So we have to just work with it. Yeah, Groovy Train. Yeah, you have to know. Gravy Train. I see you in here. You brand new. Yeah, but that's how it is, man. You know, just check and see if I'm on. <laughs> yeah, you know. Already, already. <laughs> yeah, of course, of course, Sanja. No doubt. You know it is. 
Yeah, yeah. So everybody, lucky one. What are you doing, man? See you in here. Yeah, Maxwell is smart. Yes, I already know. I already know. Clown show in the building. I see you back, clown show. Yeah, yeah. We back on. Yeah, yeah. You know, if they strike us, you already know what time it is. We'll be back. Yeah, you're not going to stop it. Yeah, you already know. Yeah, yeah. Audrey, what they do? What they do, my friend? Yes, big time. Yeah, Jennifer Levy, of course, yeah. We go get off, but we back on tomorrow. You already know. Appreciate everybody for coming too. You already know. Much respect, innings. Already, already. Yeah, yeah. We go get out of here, but we be back on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course. They look fake. You can tell. Yeah, yeah, you can tell, Maryland. Already, already. Yeah, it's hard to fake real, man. You can't. I mean, you know, you can try, but you go give yourself up. Yeah, what's up, Ijobat? What's good? What's good, my friend? What's happening? Yes, yes, in the building. Car, what they do, car? See you win here. See you win here. Hey, at least, Ijobat, at least you get to say what's up to the family in here, man. We ain't seen you in a long time. Yeah, that's what's up. That's what's up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, appreciate you, no doubt, Ricky Lee. Yeah, yeah, catch me y'all. Stay up. Yeah, Sanja B. Everybody that come in today, hey, much respect. Appreciate everybody. Yeah, Craig Mack back in the house. Yes, yeah, shout out to Craig Mack every time. That's what's up. Yeah, yeah. All right, all right, Michael. I see, I see, I see. <laughs> yes, that's how they do it. We already know. We stay on top of it. Yeah, Lion. Yeah, good night, my friend. Already, already. Mr. Chris, set good. Yeah, June Newton, of course. Yeah, everybody just, you know, look out for me tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Check me out tomorrow. Yeah, but, you know, 4 Eastern right on time. I'll be, I'll be on early than late. <laughs> you already know, Shelly on a let. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, better. What they do? Yeah, yeah, I see you. Jesse Campbell. What's really good? Yeah, yeah, that's how you do it. Yeah, once I see you, I know you're in here. <laughs> you know it go. Nancy. What they do, Nancy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We already know. No troll. Hey, we good. Yeah, appreciate you, Mendez. Yes. <laughs> yeah 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 <laughs> of course easy bob yeah we on tomorrow don't worry about it slim talk of course let me see who else in here i ain't see yet yeah yeah but look out for me tomorrow man i'll be on yeah yeah everybody that stay on the mag you know that you already know you you know when i'm on yeah, no doubt. Yeah, Berta, what they do? I see you in here. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate everybody for coming through today. You know, nice to the show. Yeah, yeah. Appreciate everybody. Much love and respect every time. Yeah, Big Kush. Catch up with you tomorrow. Mimi Smith. Yeah, Magic Ball. Of course, of course. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Bob, of course. Andy, Lisa, Lisa, of course. Public, what they do? Plastic public in the half. Yeah, 100. Jennifer Lenny, of course. Michael, too smooth in the house. Yeah, yeah, Lala, of course. Yeah, we we'll be back on tomorrow. So appreciate everybody for coming too, man. You already know. That's she. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, we we'll be back in. Tomorrow, like I said, 4 Eastern, we'll be back on. Already, Flowers of the Future. Yeah, much respect. Jackie, Jackie, baby. Yeah, Anita Daly, of course. Christopher H. Yeah, LeBron. Big up. Already, you know it goes. Coco Moco. Yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, Ennings. Already, already, already. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. No curry chicken today. <laughs> yeah, got to flip the menu on them, you know what I'm saying? Already, Brandon Taylor. <laughs> yeah, Ennings, we going to flip it. We're going to flip the, the menu on them today, you know what I mean? Miss Flowers. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to switch it up on them today, Ennings. No doubt. <laughs> yes, you already know. Hey. <laughs> All right. So appreciate everybody. Much respect. Hey. <laughs> already, already. Appreciate all the family, man, for showing up today. No doubt. Yeah, and everybody have a wonderful day, man. Yeah, and I'll catch up with y'all tomorrow. Yeah, Franklin, huh? Already, already. Down to earth. Yes, look out for the mag tomorrow. I'm gone. <laughs>